Who's that for you? Australian legends. Hey! Sir, can you knock? What's up everyone, Adam from FWCI. This is Ricky Stanicki. John Cena's in a movie. Uh, I don't know anything about this. Like really, really, really nothing at all other than Cena looks like a um, Miami uh, drug dealer in the picture that I saw. He's got like a white suit on and a white hat and he's looking very happy. That's all I know about it. But I do like John Cena. I'm a big wrestling fan. And uh, wrestling is like um, a bit of a secret society. If you're if you're a fan of the, uh, the product and then one of the wrestlers goes on to Hollywood, you're kind of automatically a little bit interested and a little bit proud anytime they do something, you know, the, uh, the mainstream seem to catch wind of. Obviously, The Rock is a big example of that. Dave Bautista is another good example of that as well. He's He's been in some great movies as of late as well. So, so I'm interested to see what this is all about. If you want a full length reaction to this one, go to patreon.com slash FWCI for $5 redos a month. That's all it costs. You get to vote on the movie poll. It's looking like Parasite is going to be in my future. So uh, keen for that one as well. But if you do want to support the channel, Patreon is where you can do it. And let's jump into it. There's no point dilly dallying. Let's see what John Cena's up to in the movie. Ricky Stinicky. What are you? A dog? <laughs> Austin Ballas. <laughs> I'm a dog with a boner. Check it out. <laughs> it's a good joke. Good work, boys. Classic prank. Uh oh. Oh no. No one's home. Oh. <laughs> they do give out candy. <laughs> oh, what? That's my last name! So your first name's not Ricky! Ugh. So, what, Ricky Stanicki is uh, some made up kid that they pin this on? Ricky Stanicki. <laughs> dumb shit. That news chief just heard back. No Stanickis in this school. <laughs> yeah, you dumbass. Fake kid that doesn't exist. Okay, so what? They just continued on a life of blaming everything on made up Ricky Stanicki. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I'm having serious second thoughts about doing this. Let me have a quick look and see what, is this supposed to be a kid's movie? Because if it, if it is, then you know, we'll keep seeing how this goes. Here in the garage. Hey, Zac Efron, hello. When Gilbert Gaines realized that the answer to gang violence may be found in the spit- Stan Grant, what are you doing on there? I remember that guy from my childhood. Oh, so this is the kids. That's Austin Powers and uh, Freddy Krueger. Well, just do me a favor. Have someone call me when you get out of surgery, all right? Is the Nicky's in surgery? What? You're worried about your boss? Come on, he's just business. Ricky's been there for you guys your whole lives. <gasps> oh, he's trying to get out of the fucking baby shower. Well, looks like we're going to Albany. You were right, man. The Summer Haze thing totally put it over the top. <laughs> That's right. Atlantic City, here we come. Let's tear New Jersey a new orbit! Whoa! All right. Clearly, this is not a kid's movie. <laughs> Phone's off, so we don't get tracked. Mm -hmm. All right, Wes. I'm Wes. Bible. Oh. Uh, right. But wait, wouldn't, wouldn't they just think it's sus that you're not in Atlantic City when you do track them? Hey, why does it have to be cancer? Like, won't everybody get worried? Oh, and that's why he's already lost a testicle and he's going to lose another one. All right, one final bit of business before we land. Stinky phone. Let's get this Instagram out of the way. There we go. Wow, they've got a whole fake profile for this guy. That's kind of fucking scary real, to be honest. I wonder if there's people out there that actually do this. I can see somebody being that fucked up. <laughs> so hang on is it going to turn out there is a Ricky Stanicki out there somewhere and it's John Cena and he ruins their lives <laughs> this is a shitty concert guys I don't know whose idea this was but <laughs> I'd take it over a baby shower but not by much oh uh Jack and Coke 
I'll have a Dos Equis, please. Do you have, uh, do you have organic vodka? Fucking hell, Freddy Krueger, what are you doing? Vodka, I'll take a Belvedere. Neat. And a plate of your crispiest calamari. No, no, Rod, no. Just to be clear, I'm anything but a freeloader. Just gonna give you guys a little squid pro quo for the calamari. <laughs> Do a midnight show at the Slot Swamp Casino. I'll get you guys in. Half price. Yo, Rock Card Rod. South Jersey's premier X-rated rock and roll impersonator. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great name for it, though. Rock Hard Rod. <laughs> <laughs> a bunch of jerk-off songs to make a living. Yeah, I do a whole act. Wall to wall, top to bottom, jizz jams. You'd be surprised at how much material lends itself to it. I mean, a Beat It, Michael Jackson. <laughs> Why don't you do the guy that gets the fuck out of here before I call security? No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Oh. I think we'd like to see this. Thank Rod, hang on. What history do you have of this place? Where in the history of our relationship did you think I couldn't do an impersonation of somebody as adorable as the big O? <laughs> That's actually pretty good, Owen Wilson. Calamari's here, man. Fucking hell. I mean when you drink stuff. Quit you bitch and you sloppy punk. You wanna know how you was hatched? Your old man was based in my rum roast. <laughs> what scene is this? <laughs> Shit, baby! That's right! You're nothing but shit, and you always will be! Is this just his parents? Is that from Downton Abbey? <laughs> Downton Abbey. Escape from my childhood. Rod, fire. All right, get the hell away from this guy. Give him his calamari and bounce. You guys look at me and you just see another scumbag impersonator, right? Thanks for understanding, man. You're a good dude. What the hell, man? What? He didn't have to be so mean about it. Uh, yeah, you kind of do, though, man. Not mean, but blunt. It's rock hard, Rod. Oh, right. I'm so sorry. I didn't know Weird Al Wankovich would be so sensitive. <laughs> your Toyota Avalons and your anesthesiologist money strutting around like a bunch of big shots. Let me tell you something. We lost Joan Rivers and Michael Jackson because you fuckers, okay? <laughs> What? Oh, anesthesiologist. Bleh, anesthesiologist. Still not right. Hey, Nathan Jones is in this. Zach Efron doing a lot of movies with wrestlers lately. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no. No, is the jig up. Is he gonna be okay? The baby's gonna be fine. Babies are born six weeks early all the time. I was born six weeks early. <laughs> All right, so now what? We we leave Atlantic City and we go back? We're not going to hang out with Rod anymore? When's he going to get his drug dealer suit? What kind of cancer? Uh, anal. <laughs> I thought it was testicular. It was testicular, but then it spread to his anus. Yeah, they had to remove it. They removed his asshole? Uh, <laughs> just the outer lip part. Outer lip part? What is he, a fucking baboon? <laughs> What's going on here? Where were you? And who the fuck is this guy, by the way? Oh, is that his partner? Okay. What's a lie? The whole Ricky Stenicky thing. Oh, dude, really? Uh, it was, uh, it's bullshit. JT, what's he talking about? How many years has this been going on, though? When we got to the hospital, Ricky was standing out front with a bottle of champagne and a limo. Turns out today was his five-year anniversary of being cancer-free. So he... <laughs> bullshit artist. <laughs> Uh, Ricky took us to a stand-up comedy show, and they didn't allow cell phones. Uh, after that, the night turned into a blur. You know I wanted to be here for you for this. Wow, this is a well-rehearsed little situation. Wes is helping him out with some fundraiser in Providence on Saturday night. Um. <clears throat> oh, the lies are starting to overlap. Come on, if he's in town on Saturday, why wouldn't he spend an extra day to meet Baby Whitaker? Yeah, why wouldn't he? Oh, the old ladies are they're cluing in. Look at you, you've got Baby Whitaker nursing on you. Horrible name, by the way. <laughs> you play this to Nikki card to get pot milk? You never had milk like this before. No, I haven't. It's delicious. I hope. They must feed these lucky cows weed all day. Because when they milk them, boom. <laughs> Dream cream. <laughs> you know, we don't deserve this shit. All we did was tell one lie. Rod, that's how he's going to come into it, isn't he? Plus, then everyone's going to want to go to the funeral. Okay, Dean, we could go do my original plan and tell everybody the truth. <laughs> he 
he studies it for a few days, and then he comes to the bris for a couple of hours, and he plays Ricky Stenicki. Wait, he has to study the Bible as well? I don't know about this. I know an actor that nobody knows. Rod Rimestead. Jesus Christ. Grab that stick! <laughs> Love your hammer spin! <laughs> this is a hilarious show. I would go and see this performance. <laughs> when a boner comes along, you must grip it to make the cream come out your dong. Just unzip it! Spooge out my penis! <laughs> Why are these people not enjoying this? This is fucking great. It's a nice day for some woodwhacking. <laughs> woodwhacking? Come on. <laughs> Ooh, baby, I masturbate every day. <laughs> okay, this one's bad. You pick something a bit more in your range there, Rod. Good crowd. <sighs> what was he doing as Brittany? Um, whoops, I jizzed again. Oh, shit. Nathan Jones is still hunting him down. <laughs> Trying to escape in fucking high heels. This is what Britney Spears is actually doing at this point in time. Rod Rimestead, trained actor, how can I help you? <laughs> yeah, man. Looks like I'm free. <laughs> Still has not gotten off the golf ball that Dr. Dominic Dipasquale of East Greenwich hit near this greenside bunker six days ago. <laughs> Or you can go to channel6.com and log on to our live duck cam. All right, where's this live duck cam? I'm here for it. She follows Ricky on Instagram. Loves his charity work. <laughs> oh, no. They've just accidentally catfished her cousin. Unless she gets up on. Oh, good work. <laughs> Is this duck trying to drown this dog? <laughs> what the fuck is happening here? Let's take a rain check on lunch, all right? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they don't even go to lunch after all of that. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I FaceTimed him. I took him through everything, man. For a sloppy drunk, he's a real pro when it comes to this stuff. Fine. <laughs> Please don't be the trash bag. Here's the trash bag. Mm -hmm. I don't trust soup. Why not? Don't give me that shit. What drugs are you on? None. I've been cold turkey in the booze for three days. Smashes my world record by three days. Wow, that's impressive. Ricky Snicky's in the program, remember? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Ricky's been clean and sober for the past seven yeah. years. Oh, he knows more about Ricky than anyone now. He is withdrawing something fierce, man. It's not what you think it is. It's just piss. <laughs> People see me pull up in this thing, my cover is blown for sure. That's right again. Ricky Stenicki's a tree hugger. We helped him clean up the Chesapeake Bay, remember? Pat's Ravens game. That was a good game. Who's that? Nobody. All right. Who's the bank? Well, I'm a cheese up front. No, has he been chatting up the cousin? You guys are supposed to be my best friends. You should be fighting over gets to hose me down. Hey, Grandma Piss Pants, shut the fuck up, okay? We wouldn't be in this predicament if you didn't show up smelling like a nursing home mattress. Oh, damn. Not, not wrong, though. Not wrong. This is a hostile set. <laughs> You're a raging alcoholic, right? Yeah. Well, then how do you stay so ripped? <laughs> That's a Roids. good question. Shit to the roids. <laughs> yeah, they're good, huh? <laughs> Fuck it out. I'm just gonna call him Stanicky. I told him that you were bi. 
I said, why? Because it'd be weird if you weren't, since we dated. Oh, no. <laughs> why the hell wasn't it in the Bible? Because well, I couldn't tell the guys, all right? Look. So now Stenicki's got secrets with all of them? Or just this guy? What'd you tell me, did? What do you mean? Cut the crap, you know what I mean? Did we play Winnie the Pooh finds a honey stick? What's that? Munchkins in a cave. <laughs> You're no trophy either, Beagle Ears. Children's book thing that I've been tinkering with. So hang on, is Stanicki gonna get like sober and become like a good guy? Jeff Ross, what are you doing? <laughs> I may not be able to eat ham, but I can certainly be one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any money, but I'm keeping the tip. <laughs> They just keep on coming. Fuck, that one's a bit rough. <laughs> that one's a bit rough. <laughs> I don't want to hang out with my boss. Why not? You invited him to the baby shower, shithead. That's different. This is a cut cutting ceremony. I don't want him here. <laughs> so she'll sprout and she'll grow and grow to be the biggest tree of all. Even bigger than the ones on top of the mountain. All right, no worries. You can be great in life, no matter where you start. Cool. I guess. Hot, wet shit. <laughs> it's stupid. What the fuck was I thinking? Yeah, yeah. I should just give up. Whoa, no. It's not what I said. I said this is crap. Because it's not authentic. Yeah, he's going to help them all, isn't he? I'm, I'm down with this. I like where this movie's going. I had these two months that could bang missionary style. Oh, yeah. You heard me right. Missionary. Face-to-face, -face, real deal. <laughs> Tried doing the show with two guys in dog suits, but... The magic just wasn't there, you know what I mean? My point is, I failed. But did I give up? Heck no. I decided to ask myself, what do I love? And then it was easy, singing, performing. This is actually really, really good advice. What do I love? Yeah. Ah, uh, so weed. Yeah, I, 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 I like ceramic owls. Oh, uh, ceramic owls, I guess. He doesn't love Christmas? Well, he used to love it, but I mean, ever since his parents found out that we were dating, they haven't really invited him over. That's fucked. And why does Santa have to be such a fat shit? Can he be ripped? Can he be Jack? You know, uh, can... Oh, no. <laughs> Rub a pum pop. That is authentic. Christmas story for us. Where's Gary? Thought he was coming. He has his improv class at Trinity, but... Ooh, that is long hair. Where the hell is he? Oh, he'll be here. This is just typical Ricky. He's, he's always late. Hmm. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Lady, buckle up. <laughs> Digging out hurricane victims in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. oh, she's in love with him so bad. I remember he was a handful, that's yeah. for sure. I mean, <laughs> every time this one got in trouble, so Nicky was somehow behind it. He was a, a little devil, that yeah. Ricky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Leona, why are you grilling my mom? She's not on trial. Because I want you to admit that Ricky's to Nicky does not exist. <laughs> Let's get down to business. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh. Sober Stanicki, I'm here for it. <laughs> You're even more beautiful in person than the pictures Dean's always sending me. You send him pictures of me? Oh, tasteful, of course. Even the nudes. <laughs> Saying about her last week it was um. Ah, the more I look at her, the more I realize how much there is to see. Damn, that's a really nice, really good line. I'm Carly, I'm Aaron's cousin. No need to shout, bullhorn! <laughs> <laughs> and the Whitaker comes along. God, I love that name. <laughs> this is great. Again, my sincerest apologies. No, you know, it's okay, I... I know you've been through a lot, so... Hell yeah, they lopped off one of my nuts for starters. <laughs> <laughs> you are still a handful! <laughs> yeah, I love this lady. She's got no idea. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't appreciate mind readings. Back off, Efron. Bono's in there. Plowing Mrs. Bono like a potato field. Really? So I'm standing there embarrassed. <laughs> the long-haired chick is fucking cracking me up. Ricky, have you eaten yet? Dean! You haven't introduced me to Indiana Jones here. 
Digging the suit in the seedlings, man. The seedlings? The hair plugs, they're new, right? Oh, oh they're, they're not good. One of those guys out there helping those billionaires get richer and then floating around on your big swinging super... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 not at all. First of all, we sell financial services to independent investors. Oh, that sounds sleazy already. It's welcome to share in the benefits. Whatever helps you sleep at night, Ebenezer. <laughs> I'm wondering, Ricky, are you always such a bust-out asshole right out of the gate? <clears throat> Only when I'm talking to the type of guy who can make a real difference in this world. Oh, he's in character. He's in character, of course. No, actually, I've been reading the San Francisco Chronicle lately. I've been following your potential merger with World River. It's interesting, unexpected. <laughs> what? <laughs> this merger could make a real difference in this world, Ted. Real difference. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, who mind if I do? Thanks. <laughs> this is... This is John Cena in, like, the role that is perfect for him. It really is. Matt Damon actually bought a zoo before he filmed We Bought a Zoo. <laughs> I don't think that's true. If you'll excuse me, I gotta go have a word with Keith. What? How do you know Keith? We're in a weird <laughs> love triangle thing. <laughs> but I'm happy for you. You guys make a fabulous couple. I'm done with his ass. <gasps> Keith. I knew he looked like a smarmy piece of shit. What, what about his writing? That's work. What writing? The book he's working on. <gasps> he didn't know? Little brother's to him. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Mm, no, I mean, like, more than a couple of years. Don't complicate the lie anymore. But in reality, having a kid is fear and anxiety with periodic moments of crushing pain. I'm pretty sure there's some. a little bit of happiness in there, isn't there? I mean, I don't have kids, but some parents seem to enjoy it. I'll give it him plenty of time. I think you need to step back in, Ricky. <laughs> um. My own mother was married six times. She never found happiness. An incredible sex life, but she was filled up with everything but joy. <laughs> Ricky! I mean, did you get to meet him? I mean, what do you think of his mission statement? Is it tenable? He should be all across this, shouldn't he? I think donations need to be conditional. Why should donations be conditional? Maybe he just doesn't want to talk shop at a bristly owner. Or maybe he's a fraud. Are you a fraud, sir? Come on, Ricky. This is your moment. He's all over this. I have full confidence right now. Second, imposing conditions requires expensive shows that these added costs simply do not produce commensurate oh, benefits. How? How much research did you do? I wonder where those cheese puff trays went. <laughs> Zing. Good work. One might even say he gave her an attitude adjustment. Mm -hmm. Where the hell did you learn all that stuff? Gotta buy the zoo, baby. <laughs> it's on lease, but that's how much it's worth. Gary, you're not needed here, buddy. Go home. Are you too cheap for a valet? <laughs> Crap, I know that guy. Go up the stairs, go into the garage, just get in there. Uh, don't come out until I tell you, all right? Go, 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 go. Fuck. Oh, yeah, okay. This is... This complicates things. Don't tell me he recognizes him from the commercial. And that's what he means by, I, I, know, I know that guy. Great idea. I'll just run down to CBS and grab a bottle. No need. This dude has everything, man. <laughs> what other fucking choice do we have? First take, everyone applauded. That's the one they use. <laughs> William H. Macy is so over that guy's shit already. <laughs> you guys seen my Red Robin commercial yet? We've all seen the commercial, Dean. You're gonna get me a sweet kimono dragon. Isn't it Komodo? Yeah. Is no, it? another one I'm getting, right? So you're getting a kimono with a dragon on it? I mean, good for you. Wait, this is how they're gonna get the ketamine into him? Isn't he going to immediately know that it's not a peanut in his mouth? Come on, guys. Oh, no. No! <laughs> I think I ate a bad one. <laughs> you did. Better. You did. My sweet boy. Oh, wait, they haven't done this part yet? Oh, no. 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 <laughs> look on that guy's face. He's in those Red Robin commercials. I knew it. I knew it. It's time. Okay. Oh, 
no. Stinnick, he's gonna have to do the fucking circumcision, isn't he? We're gonna need a steak knife. Ha! <laughs> Commandments. Co condiments. Oh, it's too late. It's too late. Oh, the fishy fishy. Mommy, I don't want to go to school tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Did he execute the circumcision okay, though? But um pow. <laughs> but um pow. <laughs> He used to work for Bono's foundation in Africa, circumcising adults. Aww. <laughs> Plus, it's got to be way easier to circumcise a gorgeous African penis than a baby penis. You would think. Um, why'd you have to throw the word gorgeous in there? Does anyone here care that my grandson is laying there half circumcised? Mm. And we're done. Bam, holy shit. By the way, was that a cigar cutter? <laughs> Uh, this is yours. No. <laughs> These guys are blown away by this. They're like, we just keep getting lucky. Going to Nairobi to help out with the Ebola situation. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Nairobi. Yeah. yeah. That goes where as needed. Ricky. Ricky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those guys. <laughs> oh, wait. The news reporter wife, she is starting to piece it together. That was world class, Rod. It's Ricky. Uh oh. Uh oh. Where did you learn to circumcise? Oh, I had a job peeling shrimp at Beefsteak Charlie's. <laughs> Jesus. Get that or? No, it's just a crazy fan. You guys take care. Yeah, you too. Yeah, you too. Oh, that's a weird interaction. And who keeps trying to ring him? Thanks, Rod. Thank you. It's Ricky. It's not Ricky, man. Is he going to change his name to Ricky Stanicki and just become that guy? It's Ricky. Oh, sorry, Ricky. <laughs> Boys. <laughs> it was fun while it lasted, yeah. right? Okay. But it's time to get off that roller coaster. It's even more sus, though. <laughs> you know, it's like this bonding thing. If anybody else had pissed on me, I'd be totally grossed out. Dude. Grab a cup of coffee and get in here. Oh, no. Is he going to get a job with him? A powerful creature, man. He sure is. That's why I hired him. Mm -hmm. Awesome. What the fuck what? did you just say? What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> That's awesome. You just said... <laughs> what did you say? Just say it one more time. I got him right before he got on the plane, too. He came over to my place. We were up till 4 a.m. banging out a deal. Oh, my God. Whatever he lacks in experience, he more than makes up for with piss and vinegar. That's actually true. JT expensed three rounds of golf at Carnegie Abbey in the last couple of months. Oh, three rounds? Not, not good. Summer Haze material. Yeah, he just doesn't. Uh, uh, I don't think he's right for this play. Hey! Speak of the devil. <laughs> Ricky, you're looking good. Rod. Oh, it, fuck it, it's Ricky. Love to see something in more of a ham color. Right. There's no way for you to act your way through this, okay? There's no... I reckon he can. He seems to be pretty good at learning shit. Boss Summer Squash hits me up and he's like, Hey, man. Summer okay. Haze? Yes, that guy. Offers me 250 large right out of the blue. What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Hostage negotiator in Somalia? So maybe I bring a certain amount of life experience to the table? I mean, come on, guys. Didn't you read the Bible? You're not. Ricky Stanicki. You don't even know what we do here. It's like business stuff. You guys are like, like bookies, right? <laughs> We're not bookies. <laughs> well, when you boil it down a little bit, there is. <laughs> MFNBC. They want me to produce the Hero of the Week segment. Oh, what? Stan Grant is out of a job now. Damn. I like Stan Grant. He's good. He's hard hitting. I pitched them the Ricky Stanicki story and they loved it. The Ricky? What? The Hero of the Week segment. I sent them a proposal about the work Ricky does in Africa. Oh, oh no. Nah, she knows. She's fucking with him. I don't know. There's just a lot of, uh, thinking more of a, can a lot of can. moving. Very close to the spam. <laughs> spam. <laughs> I gotta tell her the truth. No fucking way. I Dean, no. Dude, if you tell Aaron, she'll tell Susan, okay? Then what do you think is gonna happen? Not only did I miss the birth of my son, but I let some porno Peter Frampton impersonator snip his dick with a cigar cutter. <laughs> That's a good point. Yeah, you're in a lot of trouble, you are. It was great, you piece of shit. Thanks for the tickets. Thank you. <laughs> Shitbag. 
He doesn't deserve that. Kurnowsk! <laughs> and he's on crutches as well, the poor bastard. <laughs> I like the form. Why do I kind of want him to end up with the long haired girl? She seems really into it, maybe to an unhealthy degree. Well, look who's hitting it off. <laughs> with a face like yours, you should have a pixie. Really? Yes. Look at this. Okay. She is actually very attractive, whoever that woman is. They're just being nice. But why would they lie to me? I don't know. I'm, people are weird, right? <laughs> Maybe it's hard for them to tell you look like a freaking loon. <laughs> Ricky, that's not good, man. But all anybody can ever see is your insane, beautiful hair. <laughs> good catch. It's like the 10th best thing you got going for you. Oh no! Oh god! I mean, shit, that'll do it. Ow. <laughs> By the way, I used to have hair like that until this exact thing happened to me. This is what's in your future, Carly. Get alone. Sell a kidney. Whatever it takes. He's out of here! He saved her as well, by the way. Like if he got fired. Making him fired. I don't know about this, guys. Glenn Company. They think. What are you doing there, Stanicki? Actually, I was thinking that Ricky should take point on this today. He's our newest employee, and he's an eco hero. What? What are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Does for profit have to be for profit? No, well, that's the general idea. Correct. Ten points to the gentleman in the conservative gray suit. <laughs> was what if we took all the money we made and gave it away to poor people and shit? I mean, I'm down with that idea there, Stanicki. That is the stupidest idea I've ever heard. Nah, he's, he's onto something here. We could funnel some of it into philanthropic ventures. Wow. <laughs> we could call it um, feel-good investing. Feel-good investing. I like that. <laughs> Good job, Rick. <laughs> I was just saying fuck you to that guy. <laughs> yeah, fuck you, Billings. <laughs> fuck you, Billings. <laughs> <laughs> We're just kidding. <laughs> but fuck you, Billings. <laughs> it's still funny. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> what is happening right now? I don't know. I feel like Jason Bateman in every episode of Ozark. <laughs> Dang, JT, what it do? Wait, he got him a job? We went to one staff meeting and you've got the whole company figured out. So I filmed this on my phone in the staff meeting this morning and I had to actually put it on the computer, so check it out. The guy's a world class air digger. An air water? What are you talking about? Oh, he keeps doing this with his hands. Yeah, look at him. Remember when Obama used to power knuckle to try to make that point? Well, Summer Hayes does the same thing, but when he does it, it's like he's smoking invisible dog. This is my favorite one. Should I tell him? Absolutely. Yeah, you should. You two! In here, now! <laughs> Why did you never tell me I was an air decker? <laughs> you knew about this and you never said anything? <laughs> yes. This merger will allow us to further enhance our capital efficiencies. Look at you, oh, air digging left and right. There are companies out there who want to get bigger. There are companies out there. Oh my God, that's ridiculous. <laughs> on the other hand, to support everything we do. Oh God, now it looks like I'm cupping the balls. <laughs> Oh, God, get, uh, turn it Some off. Mm. Say... <laughs> okay, from this point forward, Stenicki is in charge of the merger. What? He's been here one day. Watch here, Dick and Ted. <laughs> I won't forget this. How big of a race should I be asking for? Oh, well. <laughs> Fuck! Stop. Ricky Stenicki isn't real! Yes, he is. Oh, he did get his name changed. Richard Barbara? Barbara? Paid to expedite it online. They overnighted it. Oh, my God. 
I don't think it works quite that quick, but... You're putting people's careers at risk. Careers? I've been here two days and I'm your boss. I'm talking about Aaron's career! You can fool Summer Hayes with this righteous shit. I mean, at this point, maybe just go with it. Nobody respected me, my job sucked, I had no friends. But now I have all those things, and I'm sober, all right? Yeah, and you're telling him to give it up. Come on, man, you can't just keep doing this. Go bullshit your way into another company. All I've ever been is a shit baby. Ooh, his mother did say that. This has to end. What the fuck are you doing? Stop! Stop! Hey, <laughs> hey, what's <laughs> this? I, oh, I, okay. If I go back, they'll kill me! If I go back, they'll kill me! What? Those phone calls. I used to drink and black out. It could be anything. One day I woke up after a five-day bender. I was a manager for an Arby's. <laughs> it's my fault. It's, it's my fault. And just get him an apartment in the city. Be like, I'll never understand why you don't just tell her the truth. I think it's a little late for that, way. Yeah, I mean, it is, but... No, it's not. It's never too late. Yeah, exactly. Tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Stan. Seconds on steak fries? Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's his ad. Dean, I love you like a brother, but you got one major flaw. You lie too much. Ooh. I mean, yeah, you're all liars. Do you realize that Rod had a fake life and he made it real? You had a real life and you made it fake. Wow, good point. Well put. I know you didn't fall in a ditch that one Halloween. His old man broke it. But in different directions, I went back to your place to see if you was there. And I heard him. I heard what he did to you. Yikes, broke it. I'm fucking hell. Probably why you started to lie, to protect yourself. But you're not that boy anymore. And you're letting this shitty stuff turn into a shitty person, and that's not you. Wow, that's deep. Of course, Nathan Jones is trying to track him down. Does he even have evil intentions, though? I mean, he looks very menacing, but... Is he trying to kill? Or is he trying to offer him money because he won something? His life's like cotton candy, an illusion, not much there. <laughs> yeah, fitting lyrics for this moment. Because there's a lot of things that you need to know about Ricky. You mean Rock Hard Rod? Mm, ding, 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 ding. There we go. I'm a good reporter, you said so yourself. Remember? Yeah. <laughs> Nairobi? Yep. Your Bible? Oh. <gasps> Pathetic. Oh, yeah, this isn't good. Tiny train museum? <laughs> really? You went to Dollywood twice. Why don't you take me with you? I love Dolly Parton. Yeah, what the fuck? It's too late. Ooh. You know what? Respect to her. With all the bullshit and, like, the years of... You know, a very, very concise and deliberate lies. How could you trust a person like that? <laughs> yeah, you fucked up, Zach. Ricky was never going to be Hero of the Week. Aaron knew all along. Oh, wow, he wasn't even going to be on there? Holy shit. So she was lying to us? Well, that's pretty fucking low. <laughs> hey, what? Coming out. Thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you. Is this really the venue to tell him the truth, though? Great companies that c can. <laughs> Ricky Snicky's not a hero. He's not even a real person. I made him up. Here we go. Motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, you know what? Props to you, lady. You knew it all along. Summer Hayes Financial is an excellent company. Please don't let my actions destroy what could be a great partnership. I don't know if he really explained that as well as he could have. Because isn't everyone going to be like, well, who the fuck was that guy? Oh, well, you were at lunch. This crew came in to interview Ricky. I helped set the whole thing up. What? Standing outside the offices of Summer Hayes Financial and a steam. Stan. Aussie legend. Why the hell is this still on? Charity. Is now the newest and one of the most highly paid exec. <laughs> Getting his ham, ham wall. Ricky Stinicky is actually okay. Rodney Rhymestead, a okay. pornographic rock and roll impersonator from Atlantic City, New Jersey, who goes by the name of. 
This is going to be a story about how he got sober. I was an alcoholic. I am an alcoholic. And I was doing whatever I could to get by. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come in my sock again. <laughs> it's filled with blood. <laughs> they saved the best one for the end. Now you're Ricky Stenicki, the winner. That was the first time somebody had ever believed him. Yeah, I reckon. That's actually a really touching moment, you know. Oh, hello. Set about creating a new identity for the man who'd once emceed an X-rated dog <laughs> show. We caution you, this next Mission video out. may be disturbing oh, no, to please. some viewers. It's a beautiful <laughs> night. <laughs> they bled out their faces. <laughs> Stop drinking and started respecting himself. He did. Soon, he had a job here at Summer Hayes Financial. Oh, and this is gonna be the perfect public, uh, like, um, positive PR for them as well. And that's how, improbably, a drunken Atlantic City reject found himself blessed with a new life <laughs> in the Ocean State. If there's a hero to this story, it's the men who saved my life. Dean Stanton, JT Levine, Wes something. <laughs> He's your attaché, come on. We choose Ricky Stanicki as our hero of the week. <laughs> Stan, you knocked it out of the park, mate. Good work. And Ricky Stanicki, you have become a contributing member of society somehow. You just became it. You came out of this smelling like a rose, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Ted, who saw the potential in Ricky, it was also his idea to start partnering with more charitable organizations. Good work, boys. Good work. You're a humble son of a bitch, aren't you? Uh, Who is this guy, by the way? <laughs> Am I supposed to know him? We have a deal. Absolutely, <laughs> we have a deal. Dean is the deal maker now? Where's his wife, though? Did he still lose his wife in this? Camping out in the backyard for the next six months. Okay, okay. You know what? Fair enough. More than fair. Two, it's going to be great. This is Thank perfect. You. Hey, here she is. So did she give the story to Stan, or did Stan swoop her? Can you ever forgive me? It's definitely not going to be easy. Yeah, I reckon. You told a lot of bullshit stories, man. The most kind-hearted, beautiful person in the whole world. Yeah, he was me. still recording. Oh, wow, okay. Ricky sent it to me today. Here Who's here that? Here I don't think they had there to hurt him. I think they're there to, like, give him an award. Did that go how you thought it would, wake up? <laughs> you tell him, Nathan. You've officially been served. Oh, is that all it is? This is a cease and desist order from Billy Idol. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> but that was one of the best ones. That's not the first time we've saw John Cena and Nathan Jones interact. More champagne, everyone. <laughs> Cranberry juice. Neat. And a plate of your crispiest calamari. <laughs> he still loves his calamari. Ricky, get over here. Oh, oh she kept it. <laughs> Time to go bump and grind with my fiance. Really? I don't know. Who knows, right? Work on a Saturday. Yeah, I signed us up. We're going to go help clean up Narragansett Bay. I'm messing with Clean that shit up. <laughs> Sucked in. <laughs> to Ricky's to Nick. To Ricky Stanicki. The best friend we ever had. Very nice. Oh, is this his Insta? Oh, that's him cleaning up the thing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, she did get a haircut. Holy crap. A very special day with very special kids. <laughs> so they took her hair and get it made into wigs for sick kids. Well done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should be out there, buddy. His wife seems a little bit feisty. Oh my god. <laughs> he got his book published. <laughs> his gay Santa Claus book. Oh, and they all got to go to Dollywood? Why wouldn't you take your wife to Dollywood? That doesn't seem like a much of a, hey boys, let's all go to Dolly, Dolly World. Dollywood? Whatever it is. I like bigger. I like smaller. I can do both. <laughs> what is this? That's what we have to do. Some people say oh can, God, it's... but you and you, me, all of us together, we can stand. We'll have. Why did Wes tweet this out? Oh, sharks. Why? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Narrow, maintain, and expand. We can. 
and you both. Wow. So, yeah, this was filmed in Australia. Fucking hell, a lot of Aussies and Kiwis and stuff showing up in this movie. Oh, that's why Stan Grant is uh, running, the, running the show. Okay, that was a fun movie. That was a very positive and sweet and uplifting movie. It wasn't needlessly, like, cruel or the, the jokes didn't hinge on, like, being mean to people or, like, awkwardness. or There was a bit of awkwardness throughout it, but, like... It was more a story of, like, redemption and self-recovery and the the, um, the pitfalls of lying and being dishonest. And it really hit on some really um, strong themes throughout this. And the humor was pretty good. The, the dialogue back and forth was pretty good. There wasn't many, like, big stunt moments. Like, it was more of, a, again, a story of this guy who became sober and realized that you know he was preparing for something his whole life and now he had the clarity to actually go ahead and do it i did enjoy jeff ross as the uh the the moil i think that's that's the word i use for that he was great in the the brief period that he was in this movie but i think this was a great vehicle for john cena he has such a comedic timing and a good sense of humor and really you know obviously throughout his years doing wrestling and stuff like that he can throw himself into these very very absurd situations and uh, you know take it very very seriously and i thought he was perfect in this role I, I don't think they could really cast anybody else to do that role i'm sure there probably is there's professional actors have been doing it for decades that are probably you know absolutely kill it but for the tools that he's got and the story they told i was into the story i was into the character i was into the journey and i was a bit worried at one point when he's like it's ricky it's ricky and i still have questions about his mental health because I mean, yes, he w he didn't want to let go of this beautiful lifestyle that he had a taste of, but he's also completely unqualified and completely uneducated in these kind of things and has a whole other life experience that may be beneficial to bring to the business world, may be a complete disaster. You, you just don't know. It could be either on any day. So the theme and the message and the vibe of this movie was very uh, positive and I appreciated that. We need more of that in this day and age. I like anything that is just a story of happiness and something that, you know, we see a lot of today. We see a lot of people get sucked into lying and just, you know, being deceitful, especially over social media and stuff like that because it's so easy and it's something that's kind of a, a, a epidemic it feels like at times. Like... People are very, very dishonest these days, and I like that this movie touched on that theme. Um, I'm not too upset that the main characters didn't get any comeuppance because the way they resolved it, it didn't seem to just negate everything. There seemed to be an explanation, consequences, and, and everything seemed to sort of be wrapped up in a nice, neat little package, as Homer Simpson would say. So I had a lot of fun with this one. Let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and patreon.com slash fwci if you want early access to my other movie reactions, movie polls, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends, see you in the next video. Peace!